praise God when it hurts? This is one of the questions that never goes away. It's a difficult question to answer. It's a, it's a question that whatever answer you give, it does not take away the pain, does not take away the suffering of someone in a situation. I remember to myself when I lost my father when when my father died. I couldn't understand because I was in a displacement. When my mother died, again I was in a displacement. I don't know how to explain. God, why did you take my mom and my dad? You know, I became an orphan. Suddenly I realized I became an orphan. I couldn't understand why God would want something to be like that. But then I begin to realize as I uh, take one hurdle after another hurdle and see my friends in that pain and that suffering, that where is God in when it hurts? God is in the very place where it hurts. God is present when it hurts. The Bible tells us that. Where was God when Jesus was crucified upon the cross? God was very present at the time of the crucifixion. Why didn't God remove the pain? Because there is a greater purpose. And what is the greater purpose? To bring redemption out of the pain. So out of our own pain and suffering, there is a redeeming value. Out of evil, God is able to bring good. But God does not create evil in order to produce good. And I think we need to recognize that our life where there will be pain. Even though we are a believer in the Lord, God never promises in the scriptures that our life will be a bed of roses. He promises a journey to give us strength, to give us hope, perseverance, endurance, and suffering and pain is one of the ways in which He leads us. But we have got the grace of God to stand on. We can lean upon His strength to be able to walk that journey. He will be able to take us through the grief and through the pain because he has himself suffered. So when Jesus was in Gethsemane, he prayed, not my will be done, God, but your will be done, my Father. So this is the way that the Lord relates to us. He wants to have that deep and deeper relationship with us. And sometimes it is to pain and suffering. We have that depth to know the breadth, the length, the height, and the depth of God's love.